Hey guys, it's Rob here from Hype Up and welcome back to another video. In this one, we're going to be unboxing and setting up the Studio Pal 25 inch LED photography light box. So I've got with me the Studio Pal 25 inch LED photo light box here with me. You can see it comes in this carry case. So this carry case has two carry handles as well as a zipper opening here. So that's really neat that everything can be packed away, transported and stored away in this one bag. Opening this up, got a few different bits and pieces here. So firstly, we've got the actual tent outer frame uh, of the covers. Um, you can see here it's similar to a softbox material so it's got a silver reflective inside and then on the outside here it's made from sort of like a um, nylon sort of material and it also has velcro borders here so that's used to attach and construct the frame as well. Now in the inside of the tent opening here you've also got some LED lights so there's two LED panels or strips here that's included. You've also got the frame parts and rods of the actual structure of the tent. You've got a little diffuser um, scrim and this is sort of like a diffuser sheet for the LEDs. And you've also got AC adapters. Now these are just the corners to construct the rods with. Um, so you use those to put up the tent and some backdrops. So you've got three different color backdrops here. You've got white, black, and you've also got like a peach color here as well. So these backdrops here are made from a sort of vinyl material uh, or plastic material. Um, so that's that's really nice that it's not actual cotton material or anything like that. It means that it's, um, you know, it's easy to clean and also it gives you a nice non-reflective backdrop for your product photos. Let's take a look at how to set up all these different parts and construct the tent. So the first step would be to place some of these parts aside so you won't be needing the LED lights, the power adapter, the diffuser or the backdrops at the moment. What you'll be focusing on mostly would be the corner joins here as well as the rods for the frame structure. You also will be sliding the actual outer cover of the tent once the frame's constructed. So firstly, grab a join here so you can see there's three sections where you can insert the rods into so we'll go ahead and grab the rods and insert them into each of the joins to construct the cube frame of the light tent okay so there we have it we've got the frame structured now uh, and you know constructed what you need to do is just make sure that your corner joins are actually facing in the correct position so they actually match the other end of the insertion point here at the uh, other corner join. So just make sure that you do that on all of the edges here to make sure that they all line up perfectly to create that cube structure. So now that we have the frame, what we can actually do is open up the, the cover. So this is the cover here and that's basically uh, that constructs the cube tent. It has that reflective interior. Now you have two parts. This one here is the front cover, the part that's on its own, and the actual cover that goes over the frame is one piece. So here you can see we've already slid the cover over the actual frame of the light box. It's best to do this with two people if possible. However, if you don't have another person available, the best way to probably do it would be to place it onto the ground and then slide the cover over from the top. So in this position instead. So that way you can ensure that the frame slides nice and evenly into the actual cover here that creates the cube. Now once that's created, this front opening here, this will be the actual front of the light tent. And you can see the top of the light tent actually has a little opening, a little opening at the top here. So that's to be used if you want to shoot top down and do some flat lay photography. 
And you also have another opening at the back here which actually feeds the power cables into the lights. Now, once the actual structure is made, what you need to do is use these Velcro loops, feed them through the frame, and then attach them that way. So you can do this at the front here. And all that does is ensure that the frame stays flush to the end of the cover here, and it's not moving in and out of the actual tent um, and just messing up the structure. So there we go, we've strapped in the frame into the actual cover, so that's all secure. So there's a total of five Velcro loops and one up the top here. Now the next step would be to mount the lighting. So the lighting here, what you'll notice is there's two LED strip lights and these will act as the lighting for the tent and the light actually bounces all the light within this reflective material here and that allows for complete sort of natural light to spread across the entire tent nice and evenly so you can take really professional looking product photos and videos now these lights have little J hooks here that hook into the top of the frame the top rod of the frame here so you can see that these J hooks actually move and they spin so you just need to make sure that these are positioned upright like that on both sides because when you go to mount them you want to hook onto the frame and they need to be positioned downwards there we go so we've mounted one of the LED strips here and because these can angle you can actually change the position of the lighting that way so you can have them facing forward or backwards or just completely horizontal and parallel to the bottom of the tent here so you can position one of the lights here at the front and then one at the back to ensure even lighting across the entire light tent. Now, if you mounted it from the front here, you can simply just push back the first one that you mount towards the back. There we go. So you'll see that it's positioned towards the back there. And then now we can go ahead and mount the other LED strip on the front. One thing to, do, uh, to note, however, is just the input for the power. So you just need to make sure that these are positioned at the same place for both of the lights. So if you have them on the right side or on the left side, make sure both of the lights are actually uh, positioned to the same side so you can ensure that the inputs for the power cables um, are all positioned on the one side. There we have it. So we've got two of the lights set up now and you can spin those and move those as you need it. Now what you'll notice with the power cable is it's a Y splitter cable. So when you open this up, you'll see that it splits into two different inputs. And on the other end here, you have a figure eight cable input just for your wall socket. So to insert the actual cables to the light tent and then connect them up to the LED light, what you need to do is just feed it through the back. You can see the cables are hanging at the bottom there and you just need to connect them up. I've positioned them on the left side of the tent here so you just need to connect these cables up to each of the lights. So we've got both of the lights connected now and you can see the cables don't have any give so it's sort of a bit more uh, taut at the top here and it won't affect the light output. It all, the cables are also not blocking the light when it's shining down onto the surface here. You can also reposition the lights so that they are vertical inside the tent so we've repositioned them here now the good thing about positioning them this way is that the connection point for the power cable it can be positioned towards the back so you can see the cables uh, have no slack and they're basically nice and taut on the inside and they're not obstructing the lighting in any way so that's a great configuration to uh, position them into now another way you can actually position these lights is on the side frame here so you can actually position these lights any which way you prefer, uh, depending on the type of photo that you're taking. So if you want a nice rim light, for example, if you have a nice tall product such as a vase, you may want to have them standing vertically rather than horizontally like we have them here. So, so many different ways that you can position them as well as angle the lights. An additional accessory that's included is the diffuser cover. So this diffuser cover here has some hooks on either end here and it's a square shape and you need to hook these onto the actual frame to cover the light so that you softly diffuse the lighting uh, that gives you a nice even light and a soft light onto your product. And there we have it. We can see the diffuser sheet is attached and it's covering these LED panels. So that way it'll diffuse the light further for all your product photos and videos. 
And now just, you need to take note that there's some elasticated ends here. You need to slide them all the way to the ends of the frame on all the different edges here and corners to make sure that the diffuser sheet is nice and taut because if you do that, if you don't do that, it's actually gonna sag a little bit there. So just make sure that you pull them all the way towards the ends there so you have a nice taut diffuser. The next step would be to mount the backdrop. So the backdrops are all rolled like so. And what you need to do is just take note of the mounting points for the backdrop. So you have one on the bottom here, so there's a little flap here that the backdrop tucks into, as well as on the back panel here. So you'll see that towards the back. And all you need to do is feed the backdrop through that flap at the top, as well as down at the bottom here. So there we have it. So you can see that I've just tucked the backdrop down at the bottom here, as well as the top. And it's made a nice sort of seamless backdrop finish here towards the back there. So what you'll notice is when you go to take your photos and videos, you'll actually see no sort of seam towards the back of the backdrop. Whereas if you only had the cube shape, it'd actually give a little bit of an edge towards the bottom there. So that's the main purpose of the backdrop. And the last step would be to place the front cover. So the front cover here is Velcro attached. So you can see the Velcro that's all along the borders here. And you've also got a front zipper opening. So you've got a large zipper opening and then also a Velcro opening if you're wanting to shoot through there. All you need to do is just mount that along the edges here at the front. Okay, and there we have it. So this is basically the front cover of the tent. Now the front cover allows you to open so you can shoot through this zipper opening. There you go. And when you turn on the lights, you have all of the lighting enclosed into the tent and there's nothing and no other reflections coming from the front of the tent as well. Now, if you want to enclose that even further, you can close this zipper front opening. And you can utilize the Velcro opening here. And that's a round circle there to fit like a camera lens or you can shoot, position your phone here as well. Using it handheld or perhaps using a tripod so you can shoot directly through to your product. So you can utilize the front opening as well as the top opening at the top of the actual tent. And the final step is to power the light. So all you need to do is use the on and off buttons here on the AC adapter. So this is the component that you plug the wall adapter into. So once you plug that in, you hold down on the on button and that turns the light turn on there. And there's actually five different levels of intensity. So as you press the button five times, you can actually increase or decrease the intensity of the lights that are inside and installed in this tent. In terms of what lighting options are best for you, it really depends on the size of your product. So if you're using a smaller product, then uh, if you're taking photos of a smaller product, then it's best to use you know, a little bit less light. But either way, the more light you have, the better because you can always decrease or increase the exposure um, of the actual camera settings or if you're using a smart device you can auto expose uh, based on say the iPhone camera settings and to turn this off all you need to do is just hold the off button and that turns off the actual lights in the tent so that was just a quick unboxing and setup of the studio pal 25 inch LED photo light box these boxes are perfect to take professional quality product photos and videos. You can also create your own backdrops as well as the three provided. So using those backdrops as a template if you're wanting to get creative with your backdrops. For more videos just like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to be updated of any videos whenever we release them. Leave a comment down below your thoughts on the studio buddy and also give this video a big thumbs up and follow us on social media at Hypop on Facebook and Instagram as well as visit our website, hypop.com.au. Thanks for watching.